girl, I could leave right this second. I can only imagine. Maggie, it was your website that planned our vacation. I take being a getawayforus.com test case seriously. Firstly, just have an amazing trip, okay? And a few times when you're there, jot down some notes so that we can have some first-person accounts on the site. Okay, you need a break. Come over for dinner tonight. I'm making lasagna. Lasagna? Mm -hmm. Your lasagna's good. That's right. <laughs> well, compared to the scrambled eggs I was gonna eat standing up over the stove, I'd say yes. Yes. <laughs> late, but look what I stopped to pick up. Is that the new logo? <laughs> Ta-da! It looks fabulous. Isn't it great? Violet, what would I do without you? You'll never have to find out. Violet, I have to convince the investors to fund us during this conference call. I gave us a year. It's been nine months. If I don't get this off the ground in three months, I'm going to have to work for another company. We'll get there in time. Are they early or are we late? They're early. Okay, okay should be really quick. Okay, go behind me, put the side. Are you ready? Are you ready? Is everything okay? Jane and Steve, good to see you. We're eager to hear your pitch, Maggie. So this is a travel site that works like a dating site? Yes, dating sites use matchmaking algorithms to help their users make better choices. Tell us, how does that translate to your site? Well, you and your spouse, friend, brother, whomever, answer questions about lifestyle, budget, interests, and the places you've already traveled. Then the website matches you with vacation ideas. Have you done any test cases? Any real-life travelers? Several. And most recently, my new client used the site to plan their upcoming wedding anniversary. She wanted to lay on the beach. He wanted adventure. So getawayforus.com pointed them to Maui, where together they can do the Haleakala crater hike and go deep sea fishing. So when she was relaxing on the beach, he got to do surf lessons. It really was the perfect vacation for both of them. Well, you've given us a lot to think about, Maggie. And my assistant, Violet, will email you a business plan so you can have a better understanding of the site and our future goals. Great. We'll read through it and we'll share it with our partners. We have been looking for a promising tech startup to add to the portfolio. We'll talk soon, Maggie. Thanks. Jane, Steve, thank you for your time. So, when's the first date with the dry cleaner guy? Friday night. Exciting. Why don't you seem excited? What's there to get excited about yet? I was thrilled about Ethan after the first five minutes. Yeah, well, not everyone is the head over heels type. I might need a solid half hour. <laughs> Besides, I don't even have time to date, and things might be getting busier because I pitched Getaway for Us to some investors today, and it looks like they might be interested in funding it. Are you serious? Helena, this might be it. Ah, that's amazing! Are you expecting someone else for dinner? Uh, uh, so, uh, Ethan invited a friend over for dinner, too. <laughs> Elena, what's the big deal? Is this a setup? Because we were just talking about me seeing someone. Oh, it's definitely not a setup. You remember Alex Fournay moved back to town? Uh, no, 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 no. The overgrown frat boy that threw up on my shoes at your wedding? He's here? Magpie Milton! It's been so long. Wow. Helena? Huh. How are you? You look all grown up. Well, that's what time will do. Has your gag reflex matured as well? Because I like these even better than the ones at the wedding. I can't promise you anything. What can I say? You bring it out of me. Alex, come on. Oh. Hi, Aunt Maggie. Hi, sweetheart. Alex said he's going to play Planetary Revenge with me. Yes, I am, and I'm going to take him down. Oh, Alex playing video games with an eight-year-old. Seems right up his alley. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, okay. You too. Go play. What's over there? Psych! <laughs> it's been a long time since college. Give the guy a chance. Whether you like it or not, he's Ethan's best friend, and he lives here now. So you're gonna have to figure out a way to get used to him being around a little. Magpie. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yes, yes, 
Yes! Oh, I will live to play another day, little man, and I will beat you. Okay. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Maggie. Woohoo! Wet Willie! So gross. Yes! See, Brianna, this is what it would be like if you had two younger brothers. Your house would basically be a mess. Not with a neat freak like you around, Magpie. It's Maggie. I know. Who wants to wash their hands before dinner? Sure. We're oh, good. God. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, pause. I think your control is it, bro? Unpause. Ah! Oh, ready for my famous lasagna. Yes. All right. <laughs> Boys, come to sit. Yes. So are you guys excited for your trip? Trip? Where are you going? They're going to Hawaii without us. And we use Maggie's awesome new website to help us plan it. What? You have a website? But you're going to have fun here. Isn't your grandma coming to stay? Yes. They get over a week of Grandma Lambert giving them sweets every day, which we all know isn't allowed, but she does it anyway. Ooh. And besides, young lady, don't you have your first school dance that you're excited about? If you go with us, you'd miss it. A dance, the star night dance. It's kind of a big deal, right? Do you have a new dress? It has short sleeves, little cap sleeves. Yeah, and a longish skirt, but not really, no? Tea length. <laughs> okay. You guys ready for the lasagna? Yes. Yes. Good, yes. <laughs> well, I have a date tonight, but I think I'm gonna cancel. Well, they can't be that bad if your friends like him so much. Getawayfrust.com, this is Maggie. Maggie, it's Jane and Steve. Hi, Jane and Steve. Nice to hear from you so soon. Well, our partners are very intrigued with your business plan. Yeah, we want to come out there and meet you face to face, really get to know you. You know, dive into the whole picture of your operation and, of course, see your office space. Sure, that would be great. Come on out. Great. Next week? Next week is perfect. As soon as we have an itinerary, I will send one over. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. What was I thinking? Violet, they can't come here. One more file box and I'll be condemned for hoarding. Okay, okay. I have one week to find an office. I need to cancel my date. No, 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 don't do that. Listen, you need a break. And look, it's almost the end of the workday. Go out, have some fun. We'll deal with this tomorrow. But I... I know I have a friend who's in commercial real estate, and I'll be in touch with her tonight. Really? Okay, perfect. We just need a short lease with a small amount of space. Something that's respectable enough for an office that makes it look like I'm capable of separating my home and work life. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the budget for the office? No budget. You got it. Okay, here we go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Amber Montgomery, this is Eddie. Eddie, this is Amber. Hi. I'm gonna go grab a drink at the bar. You guys want anything? I can get you something. No, 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 I got it. Stay here, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alex, do you want to be alone with this girl? Oh, no, 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 it's cool. Amber's cool. Are you sure? I mean, I, I, I'm crashing your date or anything. I, I mean, That's my point. Amber's not the type of girl that needs a date. She's totally low maintenance. Yeah, right? Take it from me. That's the kind of girl that you want to date. Someone fun who doesn't take life so seriously. So was the traffic okay getting here? It was, it was, but uh, Thank you. I wanted to try this restaurant. So. Nice tie. Thank you. And I got it on sale, too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Bolognese looks good. If you get some on your shirt, I'm sure I could get it out. Oh. How long have you owned the, the dry cleaners? I inherited the business six years ago from my dad. I've opened three new locations since I took over. Do you like owning your own business? I do. King of my own castle and all that. I could learn a lot from you, Brent. You take things seriously. I, I admire that. You know, not a lot of people grow up despite getting older. Are you referring to someone in particular? Hey, okay. When you made the bet with me, you didn't tell me you were a ringer. Oh, that's kind of how this thing works. I don't want to play her. Okay. 
You win. Dinner's on me. Where do you want to go? Let's just stay here, get some appetizers at the bar, and keep playing. Rack. Thank you so much. Thanks. This way. Had a really nice time, Brent. I said I had to see him, I thought it only meant at her house. Pardon me? Oh, Magpie! What are you doing here? Wow, that is a great tie. Old school fighter jets, got it on sale. We have to be going. Let me guess, Alex? This is your dinner? Yeah. Actually, I've got all the major food groups, even vegetables. So there's tomatoes and salsa and then the ketchup. And then look at all that guacamole. Technically, avocado is a fruit. Well, a fruit has ruined my shirt. Hey, now, don't you know who you're dealing with here? Give me your shirt, and I will make sure it looks as good as new. Oh, geez. Listen to what I just said. That's, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Uh, didn't mean take it off now in public. Shall we? Sure. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. My bad. No, oh, no. It's OK, but that woman's unhappy even without getting spilled on. All right, for the win. So you're never going to believe this. I just got an email. We have been asked to chaperone Brianna's dance. <laughs> well, that's not going to work from Hawaii. They have somebody else they can ask? No, it's fine. I volunteered mom. And you know mom, she'll love that. Hmm, <sighs> speaking of. Hey, mom, y'all packed? No, I have a problem. Just a small leak in the bathroom. But as long as this nice gentleman can get it under control, I'll be there bright and early tomorrow. <laughs> mom? A little help here. Oh, dear. It looks like it's gone from bad to worse. Ooh, that's in my face. It looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Sorry, baby. Oh, no. This is bad. <sighs> it's under budget. It's kind of small. Keeps looking. So we lost our babysitter and busy for Hawaii in the morning. Now what? Well, Maggie, right? It's the obvious choice. I don't know. She's got a lot going on with the website right now. What about Alex? <laughs> the kids love him. Because he's a big kid himself. He's a big kid with a flexible work schedule. I mean, he could easily be here when Josh and Bree get home from school. Yeah. Home in the afternoons to play nonstop video games and eat ice cream for dinner. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Well, what about a job share? Between Maggie and Alex? <laughs> You're funny. Elena, I only have one second. Hey, Max. I am so sorry. I know you don't have time for this, but I'm in desperate need of a favor. Uh-oh, is everything OK? Uh, not really. Uh, my mom's house flooded and she can't watch the kids. So now my entire getawayforus.com plan for Hawaiian vacation hangs in the balance. Hey, Alex, remember when I referred you for that custom cabinet job? Uh-oh, sounds like someone needs a favor. Well, of course I'll fill in. You have to go on this trip. You're one of my few test cases. Seriously? Max, thank you. And, uh, well, it also turns out you'll have to chaperone Bree's dance. Well, that's adorable, so I'm in. You really are the best friend anyone could ever have. Uh, and I know it's a huge imposition, but uh, Alex is... Don't mention Alex when you're asking for a favor. Uh, I have to go, so email me all the details, and I will see you when you get back. Okay. Bye. This is it. It's perfect, isn't it? All we have to do is get some office furniture, and then I have to set up Wi-Fi, and then I've got to get the computer, and the files moved over, and... Well, my life just got exponentially more complicated, but... 
This is perfect. Look, it would really help Maggie out if you could do this in the afternoon. Well, I'm not too keen on helping out Magpie, but it would show her that a person can be fun and responsible at the same time. The point is to make it easier on everyone else, Alex. It'll be fine. Just send me the info and send me an ugly Hawaiian shirt. All right, man. All right, hey, thanks a lot, man. Cool. Okay, guys, I have your lunches. One for you and one for you. Uh, Bree, you have your book report? It's in my folder. All right, Josh, you ready for your spelling test? Yep. All right, how do you spell mountain? M O U N T A I X. <laughs> Woo! Oh, nice buddy. job. job. Okay. Well, Alex is going to be here when you guys get home from school. Uh, and just be good for him and Aunt Maggie, okay? Okay. All right. We'll miss you. All right, you guys get out to the bus stop. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Have fun. Make sure to bring us some chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Hey, gonna be okay. Cab's here. All right. Paradise. Say paradise. Paradise. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Brent, hi. Oh, hi. It was great spending time with you the other night. Would love to see you again soon. Uh, sure. When? Um, I'm sorry, Brent. Things are a little busier than usual. And Brent, I've got to go. I'm, I'm, I'm running late. OK, thanks. Bye. Thank you so much, Brian. Josh will be off the bus in 15 minutes. I will see you later. Oh. Hello? What are you doing? Go! Magpie. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm babysitting the kids. Did Miss Perfect already mess up the schedule? What schedule? You know what? This is this is ridiculous. Oh, you're gonna okay. Uh, I can call too. You oh. wanna do that? Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, before we depart, please make sure your seat back and tray tables are in their full upright position. Also, make sure your seat belt is correctly fastened. I might have done something bad. Hello. Hello. Ethan. Elena. It's been one day, and you guys already don't trust me. You had to call in the fun police. Why on earth would you let Alex babysit the kids? It's like having another dog. What's your dog? Now you're calling me a dog. Listen. Buddy, don't be offended. Maggie didn't know you were going to be there. Max, I'm sorry I didn't tell you Alex would be helping out, but I knew if I did, you'd insist on doing it all on your own. I'm not doing this to you. I'm doing this for you. Alex has a flexible schedule. He can meet the kids in the afternoon so you don't have to leave work early. I know you have a lot going on. You asked me to babysit two kids, not three. Do I actually have to talk to her? Like, is that a requirement? Just do the best you can. Try not to argue with him. If the house is still standing and the four of you are alive when we get back, I'll consider it a victory. Fine. Fine. Great. Right. Phones off, please. Uh, about to take off. All electronic devices must be turned off. Is this a terrible idea? They'll live. Remember, it's not like we're asking them to get married or anything. <laughs> <laughs> get married. You are funny. Look, if this is happening, we have to do things like Why you? Because it's the right way. Why is it the right? Hey! Hi. Kids. You look so cute. You, <laughs> it's so cool. You're both babysitting us. Well, I'm glad your parents told someone this was happening. Who, Who wants, wants a snack? snack? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I think it's important under the circumstances that we stick to some rules this week. Aunt Magpie likes her rules. <laughs> Homework will be done after school, just like when Mom and Dad were here. But we have a snack first. Of course. Can I have a strawberry ice pop? Sure. No. Josh, a strawberry ice pop is dessert. You need something healthy before you do your homework so you can feed your brain and your body. Come on, it has fruit in it. If Ice Pop is all sugar, it will make him hyper, and he will have an energy yeah, but crush. you're making it sound like an ice cream sundae. Which I'm sure you would give him for dinner if you could, along with all the fries and chicken wings. Oh my God, hey, I on. <clears throat> Excuse us? Is this okay? That's a very healthy snack. Nice choice, guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do my homework in my room. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> Great start. Well, I am after school childcare, so you don't even need to be here. But I am. So you can go. Are you going to trust me to take care of them tomorrow? 
I have no idea. Do you think you'll be trustworthy tomorrow? Hey, Amber. Hey, come to Joe's. The band's about to start. I, uh, I can't. I'm exhausted and I have to, to finish up on my work and then get some sleep. I'm babysitting my best friend's kids this week, remember? Oh, you're no fun. Well, if you change your mind, come on down. I'm gonna be here all night. <sighs> okay, lunches are all packed. Here are some after-school snacks, strawberries, crackers. What about Alex? He can make his own snacks. No, we mean he'll be here, right? Can he make us a snack? In theory. Oh, Ray, here is an extra key. I just put it right here for you, okay? Alex has one. Oh, he does, just in case. You guys know how to call 911, right? Yes. Yeah. Never mind. You just finish your cereal. The Bus is gonna be here soon. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna write Alex a note, but make sure that he calls me when he gets here so I know you're safe and sound and doing your homework. Yep, mm-hmm. Everything's under control. It's 911. Viola, come look at these chairs. That would be great for the new office. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and what a deal, huh? They won't be ready for three weeks. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna find something. How'd your first night go with the kids? Now, uh, which ones? Bree and Josh were very well behaved, but Alex... Mm. This guy really gets under your skin, doesn't he? Lane and Ethan thought it'd be a very good idea if he met the kids after school so I could get in a few more hours of work. Believe me, I raised two energetic kids of my own. It's nice to have a little help. Well, not this kind of help. Oh. Hi, Jane. Hi, Steve. Hi. We just want to tell you that we've read through the proposal that you sent over. That's wonderful. Now, full disclosure, we are talking to another tech startup, but as of right now, we're mainly interested in getaway for us. We're really looking forward to getting down there and seeing your office space, talk over some of the finer points. Me too, that sounds great. <laughs> My space. We'll have our assistant email you the flight info. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye. Guess you have a little cleaning to do. <laughs> You'll be phenomenal, don't worry. Thanks. Is it 3.30? Alex was supposed to call me at 3 when the kids got home from school. Okay, so who's ready to have a snack and do their homework? We are! All right. Mm. Mm. What the? What is this? Maggie left us snacks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna answer it? No way, we're busy. Josh, did you say that you wanted to have a strawberry ice pop for a snack? Uh, yeah. Who's your favorite babysitter? Alex. Who is? Yes, he is! So typical. Alex, it's Maggie. You were supposed to call me. So call me. <sighs> um, Uncle Alex, do you know anything about fractions? Yes. Have a seat. Okay. Lazy, irresponsible, undependable, moronic, sophomoric. So all you have to do is reverse the numbers and then multiply. You're really good at math, Uncle Alex. Thanks. My job is all about measurements. If I didn't like numbers, I'd make chairs with uneven legs and doors that didn't close. Hello? Hello? I knew he wouldn't get here in time. So, 
Five eighths divided by fifteen sixteenths is two thirds. That's right. Nice. Good job. Oh, hey, Aunt Maggie, do you know how good Uncle Alex is at math? You called? You just had to check up on me, didn't you? It would be the mature thing to do to pick up the phone, Alex. I was getting the kids a snack and helping with their homework. Babysitting 101. Okay. Well, everything seems like it's under control. I know. Look at it, Maggie! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! <clears throat> Let me guess, strawberry ice pop? Gosh. Do you think we should check on the kids? The kids are going to be just fine. Maggie and Alex? Hmm. I'll say this. Maggie's website is fantastic. Maggie is fantastic. Honestly, I... I don't care how the rest of this trip goes. I just took a sunrise hike through a dormant volcano with my gorgeous wife. Maggie! <sighs> Personally, I like it down. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I, I knocked, but you, uh, you didn't hear me. I mean, what are you doing early at the house? I need you to switch shifts with me. If I can take the kids to school today, can you be here when they get home? What? No, I can't. Come on, I had an 11 a.m. appointment, and he had to reschedule. And he can only do 3.30 now. I left early the last two days, Alex. Yes, but that was your choice yesterday. I mean, we were fine without you. I have to set up my new office space. Look, the only reason that you're here is so you're available in the afternoon to look after the kids. Come on, Maggie. I have my own company, too, and I'm just getting it off the ground. I can't afford to turn down work. Okay. You call me Maggie. You must really need this favor. Yes. You pick up the kids from school, drop them at my office, and they can do their homework there. I can totally do that. Fine. Fine. Guys, we've got to leave. Thank you. I actually do like your hair like that. Okay, I feel like I'm going to drop it. All right, wait, wait, wait. okay, go okay, around the corner. Oh, Left, gosh. back, back, back. Yeah. And then on three, I'm going to set it down. Okay. Oh, my God, okay. it's so heavy. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Yay for us. Yeah. <sighs> oh, do you have a hair tie? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't hear, but you know what? You look really pretty with it down. I do? Hello, hello! Oh, Violet, this is Brianna and Josh. Hey. Hi. And Alex? How are you? You're Alex. Indeed I am. Oh, hi. Guys, we only have a table and some folding chairs, so you're gonna have to sit up and do your homework here. Is that okay? Works for me. Can I photocopy my face? What a shame we don't have a photocopier. Well, a photocopier's not really the only thing you don't have here. Wait. Is this really your office? We're a startup, Alex. We don't have a lot of cash lying around. I've been working from my living room for the last nine months. So if you don't have a lot of cash, why did you rent an office space? Oh, Maggie has a real important investor meeting tomorrow afternoon, and she told them she had a real office. And now I do. I have a real office. Hmm? We just don't have anything in it, which is fine. Here's my pitch to Jane and Steve. This bare bone setup proves that I'm a frugal, responsible business owner who doesn't want to waste their potential investment capital on trivial things like cheers. Cheers. But hey, if this works for you. Thanks a lot, Alex. Okay, I have to run. Kids, I will see you later, okay? Bye, Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is so romantic. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. Amazing, this man. That's much time together, just you and me. Mm. It's really good for us to do this, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're doing great. Mm. We haven't talked about the kids for two whole hours. Right, no discussing carpools and homework and bedtimes. Right? I mean, <laughs> we have tons of things we can talk about mm. besides the kids. You want to call them, don't you? I, I mean, 
maybe we should call Maggie and tell her how well the trip is going. And maybe check on her and Alex and the kids. We'll make it quick. Alex, this was really good. Yeah, it was. Oh, thank you. And what did you think, Magpie? I can't believe you made dinner. It was delicious. I had no idea you could cook. Well, you did me a favor, so I thought I'd do you one. And I'm glad you liked it, because you can take care of the dishes. <sighs> Hey, we wanted you to know we're having the best time. An incredible trip, Maggie. We haven't disagreed on one activity. That's awesome. Great to hear your voice, Mags. Uh, has Alex left already? Uh, no, he's here. Why? Put him on, please. Oh, they want to talk to me. Hmm. Hello? Elena. Yeah, I know Magpie's your friend and all, but I'm really starting to... Hey, Alex, you're alive too. Great. Uh, can we talk to the kids? Sure. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. Are you guys having fun? We are. We miss you so much. Hey, we hiked a volcano. Whoa! So, tell me, have Maggie and Alex injured one another, done any damage to the house, or taught you guys any colorful new words? Um, oh. no. Wonderful. Uh, Dad and I love you. Gotta go. Call you soon. Now we can really enjoy our trip. Oh, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so, how do I look? Alex, I said that your dinner was good. If you're looking for more compliments, I'm fresh out. I'm, I'm actually going on a date. She's picking me up in a little while. Oh. Is that that very graceful class act you were playing pool with the other night? Does that guy that you were with, does he discuss regular laundry too or just dry cleaning? Alex, I don't have time for this. I have a very big, very important meeting tomorrow and I would like to focus on that, not how annoying you are. You see, that's your problem. You think too much. I'm willing to make a bet that you are not only prepared for this thing, but that you are over prepared. Maybe it would help you out just a little bit, just to chill out, you know, take your mind off of things. Stop obsessing so much. I don't obsess. No. Is that pot clean enough? Oh, age. A-G-E. Perfect. Four points. Josh, you could have gotten 14 if you... Your brother played age, which is appropriate word for his age. It's a learning game and he's learning. Oh, hey. Look who it is. Hey there. Wow, you look terrific in oh, this dress. Oh, thank you. Oh, Aunt Maggie, it's your turn. Hmm? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Josh's E from age and spell... Mm -hmm. E-poach? The word is epic. Uh, that means super, super awesome. Like a really epic party. Isn't that a different word? Um, epic, E-P-I-C, can mean that, but this word pronounced the same way is like a specific period of time. Oh, like the Pliocene epic. I read about that in that geology book with Dad. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you, Amber. Don't worry, I don't have any guacamole with me this time. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, I come bearing freshly dry clean garments. <laughs> For saving me the trip. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. See, so you're playing word games, not to brag, but I used to compete in crossword competitions. Would you like to be my partner? Sure. <laughs> hey. No fair, no two grown-ups on a team. I'll play with you, Josh. Maybe you guys could play a game that's a little bit more fun. What could be more fun than a collaborative word puzzle? Mm. You bring up a good point, Brent. But I'm gonna go ahead and say... Poker? <gasps> yes. yes! Poker is not a kid's game. You don't have to gamble with money. We can play with... Snacks! Yes! yes. <laughs> My man. Yes! We? I, I thought you were both... Like, leaving. What do you say we stick around and we teach these kids how to play a little bit of poker? Well, you'll have to teach me how to play too, but I'm down for whatever. Please, Aunt Maggie, it'd be fun. Sure. 
<laughs> Tonight is gonna be epic. <laughs> Okay, we bet two more pretzels. One, two. Okay, what do you want to do? You want to call, raise, or fold? Call who? No, do you remember what that means? Do you bet two more pretzels, a lot more pretzels, or quit this round? Um, only two more. We call. A pair is like the worst hand ever, right? Amber, you're not supposed to tell people what your hand is. Oh, right. Well, do I get to eat my pretzels if I fold? No. No, bummer. I fold. Fold. <clears throat> okay. And the river. This game is so weird. Maggie and Bree, what say ye? Yeah, we're in. Call. Do you think we should risk any more pretzels, sir? I don't think so, sir. Call. Do you ladies remember what the order of all the hands are? Just play your cards. All righty then. Read them and weep. Full house. We win. We have a flush. Nope, a full house beats a flush. Sorry, Bree. Looks like Josh gets to eat all the pretzels. Uh, a full house doesn't beat a straight flush. Bam! Ooh. Bam! I'm impressed. Yeah. I thought you were a little too proper for poker. The name of the game is Texas Holden. Who wants to play another round? Me, please! So in the industry, the process is known as air bumping. We use these high pressure hoses to clean out the system. You would not believe the kind of damage common lint causes to the filters. Air bumping, it's really cool. So they're in bed, but the only way I got them to stay there was by promising we'd play poker tomorrow. Babysitter of the Year Award. Hmm. So you two have known each other since college? Oh, and you both graduated? Impressive. You didn't go to college, Amber? Nah. I never liked school. And you don't need to go to college to work retail. Do you like your job, Amber? I like using the discount to buy cute clothes. Uh, so, Brent, where did you go to college? I got a business degree from a community college. I didn't have a lot of interest in the whole college experience. Really? Yeah, living with a bunch of sloppy, immature kids who are goofing around, trying to figure out what they want to do with the rest of their lives. <laughs> Not for me. I've been working with my dad since I was 13 years old. Always knew I would take over the business. So you've basically been a dry cleaner since childhood. Yes, I have. It really shows. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, well, I really loved college. I learned so much. I met such great people. It was honestly the best time of my life. Sloppy, immature kids and all. Yeah, and even though I had a blast in college, I wasn't so immature. I had an A average all four years. Oh, I didn't know I was dating such a brainiac. <laughs> you didn't have an A average. I did, and in engineering. And yet, you're not an engineer. Yeah, it was too stuffy for me. It took too long to make something happen. And then my senior year, one of our fraternity pledges jumped off the kitchen counter, fell on a table. It was this, like, monster 12-seater. That is the exact kind of behavior that I'm glad I missed. Mm -hmm. And all the guys, they wanted to use the dues to plan parties and trips rather than buy a new table. So I built one from scratch, and I was hooked. So yeah, college was definitely one of the best times of my life. I met Ethan, I got to pick on Maggie. <laughs> But if I'd have known you're such a good poker player, maybe I wouldn't have been so hard on you. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's getting late, isn't it? Oh, well, no, it's yes. only 11. Yeah, right. All the good places, they stay open till 2. I am sure that is true, but I have a couple of kids to look after, so. Oh, yeah, she right. has a, a really important meeting tomorrow, so we should probably wrap this up. Amber, I'll walk you out. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Hey, there you are. So Brent didn't want you to forget this. And I know you're buttoned up, but this is very conservative, even for you. Oh, stop it. It's Bree's dress for the dance. Speaking of which, you know I'm chaperoning her, right? Yes. So you're going to have to spend the entire time with Josh alone? I will try not to lose him in the house. This is really cute. I remember my first school dance. I was in grade six, and I went with Troy Mathis. He was the seventh grade treasurer. So you've always been attracted to the flashy types, I see. Brent is a little subdued. Yeah, that's a word for it. You can talk. Well, come on. Amber's very nice. 
I'm gonna take off. I uh, have some errands to run before work tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. You're not gonna help me clean up? It's okay. Uh, you can wait. <sighs> Good day yesterday, hmm? Uh, you sold everything. Uh, let's just say everything's out on loan right now. So we'll just explain why the office is so unimpressive. I mean, it's no reflection on getawayforus.com or me or our future, right? I mean, hopefully Jane and Steve are looking at the bigger picture. Right, I'm sure they are. I need you to sound more convinced to make up for my underlying panic, Violet. This is the worst possible week for this meeting. I'm exhausted. I was up late cleaning the house. Oh, tough night with the kids, huh? No, the kids are amazing. It's Alex that is the problem. Who listens to what is important to you, right? I have no idea what's happening. Well, you know that guy you were complaining about? Oh. He lent all of the stuff to you. I still have no idea. What's going on? Alex called and he said he had some furniture we could use. He wasn't sure that you would accept it from him, so I let him in early this morning. This is the errand he had to run? Check out the monitor. Okay. All right, look. Yeah? Are you kidding? I can't believe you two. This is amazing. <laughs> knock, knock. Change of plans, we're early. You like to keep people on their toes. Welcome. Is it Steve and Jane? This is Violet Barlow. She's my second in command. Nice and to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. Meet you. Hi. Hi. And look at this office. It's got so much personality. Yeah, it's very elegant and, and polished, yet very fresh and startup, much like your website. Thanks. I, I mean, shall we? Absolutely. Oh, who's that? That is our test couple, and they're in Hawaii right now as we speak. Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Well, I like these chairs. They're quite nice. Handcrafted. You can always tell. <laughs> well, you know here at GetawayForUs.com, we're all about the customer experience. So, let me take you through the website. Over here, we have Elena and Ethan. They have a very different idea about what a romantic vacation would be like. We have Ethan, who is much more into adventure. Hi. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I tried to get Brianna to do all of her homework, but she was too amped up about the dance. She's already getting dressed. It's okay, I came home early to help her get ready. Obviously not early enough. Oh, and Josh got invited to his friend Matt's house for a sleepover. They just picked him up. So, I'll be heading out soon. Alex, I, I, I want to say thank you for the furniture. It was really... Your office needed furniture. I make furniture. It's no big deal. It's a massive deal. Really? So, so you liked it? It made me look amazing. I, I think the meeting went well, and I'm not sure if they're going to invest, but I, uh, it was really thoughtful. It's not who I thought you were. You can keep the furniture as long as you need it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> How do I look? Brianna, do you like it? Uh, no. What happened to your dress, sweetheart? Half of it has disappeared. I cut it. I like it better this way. Why? It's what Amber wore last night. You thought it was pretty, right? You said you liked it. Uh, Brianna, uh, Amber is, she's a grown-up. Bri, I'm not letting you wear that dress like that. You're gonna have to pick something else out for your maid closet. No way! I think it's awesome. Okay, fine. You can wear it. Really? 
Really? Sure. You just can't leave this house the entire night. Aunt Maggie, I'm not a little girl. I'm ten and three quarters. Sweetheart, if you're measuring your age in quarters, it means you're too young. Not fair. This is all your fault. My fault? You don't think it's a coincidence that 24 hours after meeting your little girlfriend, Brie goes and takes a pair of scissors to her dress? Do you know what I think it is? I think you're jealous. <sighs> I'm jealous. Yeah, you're so uptight. Of course you'd be jealous of a girl like Amber. This isn't about me, Alex, or Amber. It's about Brie. Are you going to be the one to tell Ethan that you encouraged his 10-year-old daughter to dress like that? Can I come in? Fine. <sighs> What's this really about, Brie? Nothing. Come on, sweetheart. We go way back. I used to sing to you when you were in your mom's belly. And you also spilled a whole glass of punch on me on your fourth birthday, so you kind of owe me. And your dress was white, too. Not anymore, it ain't. <laughs> you just wanted to look cool. Hmm. Is there any particular reason? No. There's nothing you wanted to dress up for? No one? What's his name? Aunt Maggie. His name can't be Aunt Maggie, because that's way too much of a coincidence. Danny. His name is Danny. He's my science lab partner. Bree, believe me, I understand. I felt invisible when I was younger. No way, you're so pretty. Well, thank you, but when I was your age, I had braces and acne and a perm that I was dumb enough to convince my mom was a good idea. Boys didn't notice you either? No, I'm not gonna lie, they usually didn't. And it made me sad. But you know what, they didn't like me because they weren't the right boys. And I appreciated it so much more when the right ones came along. But you're not married yet. Yeah, I, I understand that kiddo but I'm waiting to find my right guy. A guy who loves me for me, and you need to find a boy that's gonna like you for you. A girl that gets straight A's, not a girl that chops up her dress to be like everyone else. Can I add something? Something Aunt Maggie said isn't totally right. So I didn't go to the same school as her, but I can pretty much guarantee that the boy she thought didn't like her, well, they actually liked her a lot. You see, when girls are both smart and pretty, it's, it's really intimidating. So it's not that boys don't like you for you, they just assume that you would never like them. Does that make sense? Okay, so what do you say? We worry less about this Danny kid and we worry a little bit more about your first dance, which is kind of a big deal, right? Right. See anything you like? That one. It's a good choice. Thanks, Uncle Alex. Would you like to come too? Oh, uh, to your dance? Yeah, since Aunt Maggie's chaperoning, I thought you could too. Yeah, Uncle Alex, you want to come with us? I couldn't think of any better way to spend my evening. Do I have to dress up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No.
Maggie? Hey, can I grab something from in here? Sure. I just want to get a tie from Ethan. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, it's a really nice dress. It's Elena's. You need a tie. Oh, right. Yeah, I just want to spruce up the outfit a little bit. You look great, but I think this would complete the look. This one or this one. Um, what do you think? Good choice. <laughs> All right. That's one. That's do you know how to tie a tie? Well, I mean, technically, yes, but I haven't done it since Ethan's wedding. Oh. Here. Oops. Let me do it. Let me. I remember knowing how to do this. Yeah. Uh, don't be embarrassed. My dad told me. Okay, and there we go. We're coming. Wow, look at those stars. They're so beautiful. <laughs> I made most of the silver ones, and everyone in our class made some. Huh. Um, hey, Brianna. Hi, Danny. Um, so do you want to, you know, like dance? Um, yeah, totally. Wow. All that drama for nothing. Well, not for nothing. That drama is a key part to her teenage development. Poor Ethan. <laughs> if you would have told me two weeks ago that I'd be spending my Friday night at a junior high dance. I know, right? <sighs> Okay, that is a little too close for comfort. <clears throat> Danny, may I cut in? What are you doing, Uncle Alex? Let me just show you how it's done, okay? This is a lesson on how to be a gentleman, okay? <clears throat> See? It's nice and easy. can't leave me to slow dance on my own. No, of course not. Especially since you're a head taller than every other guy here. <laughs> Look at all of them. Huh. This little dance is the biggest night of their life. We used to take things so seriously back then. <laughs> well, I guess I still take things seriously, but I guess that that's just me. No, it wasn't. When you're small, everything seems big for everybody. <laughs> you do take things seriously, but I think it's just because you care so much. Seems like you don't take anything seriously. But that seems to not be the case. Maybe you should show that side of you a little more. It's nice. Alright. Thank you very much. Glad y'all enjoyed. Well, it's way past your bedtime, young lady. Yep, into your pajamas, pronto. Okay. Aunt Maggie. Yes, sweetheart. I'm sorry I yelled at you. 
Big hug. You know I love you, right? I do. And thank you, Uncle Alex, for the dance lesson, even though you're totally embarrassing. <laughs> I aim to please. Off to bed. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> well, look at you. You got yourself an apology. Impressive, right? I'm sorry I yelled at you, too. Which time? Uh, you pick. Yeah, it's not a problem. I guess maybe we're a pretty good team after all. Seems like you're onto something there. Tonight was fun. It was fun. So. Good night, Maggie. <laughs> good night, Alex. Alex, this is the first time I've seen you come in at 6 a.m. What's up with that? How many coats do you want on this? Alex? Uh, Alex? What? Ah, girls. They'll do that to you. Yeah. Why are they so impossible? Impossible? What? I thought Amber was the perfect woman. Oh, right, Amber. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to see her tonight. I'm gonna say three coats to stay. What's that noise? Wait here. Good morning. What are you doing here? Well, Josh called me at home this morning and asked me to pick him up at Matt's. Hmm. Yeah, because his sister had ballet class. Otherwise, I'd have to go and actually watch ballet practice. I can see how that would be torturous. What smells really good? Alex is making sticky bread. It's my famous ooey, gooey, extra sugary sticky bread. <laughs> Is it going to be done soon? Because I'm starving. Yes, very, very soon. Maybe we should cut up some fruit first. Do you want to go help? Yeah. <laughs> what is Steve? Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, what, what, what is happening? What is happening? I'm going to do We couldn't have junk food because it made you hyper. Well, it's not a good after-school snack, but it's delicious, especially on a warm day at the park. And if you get a little hyper, you can always do a couple of laps around the jungle gym. I'll start now. <laughs> it's your kids, Maggie. Simply can have some ice cream. Yeah! Guys, this is your mom. Let's answer at the same time, okay? Hi! Did you see dolphins? How's your trip? It's great, Mags. And yes, Josh, lots of dolphins. So what are y'all doing? You sound happy. Yeah, did I hear Alex before? Yeah, he's right here. Say hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. So what you guys up to? We're eating ice cream in the park. All four of you? Why are you wasting your last day in Hawaii calling us? Go have fun, please. Okay, okay, we will. Uh, we just wanted to call to say that we love you and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget that ugly shirt, Ethan. Bye, Bye I love, love you too. too. Okay. Um, 
Maybe aliens have taken over their bodies. Aliens that get along. Mm. Oh, that hit the spot, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sticks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Last. Okay. Okay, what do you guys want for dinner? Pizza, that diner with the jukeboxes in the booths. Can we go to the water park? Yeah. For dinner? No, for water rides. They have the tallest water slide in the whole state. I think it's a little late to go now, you guys. Maybe we can go tomorrow? Oh, your parents come home tomorrow, buddy. We can go before they come home. That's an idea. Well, the water park was a pretty perfect way to cap off a fantastic weekend. Oh, it was. And you were a mad woman on that water slide. You're full of surprises. I go down water slides, I play poker, I'm a regular renaissance woman. Well, you're quite the woman, I'll say that. Oh, I need to give you uh, your sweatshirt back. Uh, no, it's fine, I'll get it from you later. It looks cute on you. I went down the biggest slide there three times. And there's this thing that makes waves like the real ocean. <laughs> hey, look who's back. <gasps> hey, guys. Hey. Come here, bring it in. Come on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Thank you. Well, sounds like you guys had fun, all four of you, together. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, why don't you two go upstairs and get cleaned up? Mom and I want to take you to dinner. Okay. Want to hear all about your week and we want to tell you about our trip. And hear about the dance. Mm -hmm. And give us presents. Uh, only if you're good. Go shower, go shower. Oh! But first, we need... Group hug! Group Come hug. on! Big news! Oh! 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 oh my god. I'm gonna miss you guys. You know we'll be here all the time, huh? It's not the same. Well, maybe the four of us can do, you know, a field trip like this once in a while. Yeah! Okay, group high five. Yeah! The best. Wow. wow. Guys, uh, looks like you two actually pulled this off. We turned out to be a team. Yeah? We are just as surprised as you are. I, I somehow doubt that. <laughs> oh, hey, we got something for you. Babe. Presents! Yes. Oh, Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm going to wear this without irony. <laughs> yeah, well, we just wanted to say thank you, first of all, to Maggie for planning our trip, but really to both of you for saving our trip. So. Uh, consider yourselves free of the life of boring suburban parents. <laughs> yeah, and you can get back to your own very fun and single lives. Right. Definitely. I'm gonna go get my stuff. Yeah. Oh, I missed you guys. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. So, so, I guess now you're back in town, I will see you around. Sure. I mean, we have our field trips now, right? Right. Back to my real life. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. 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 It's Jane and Steve. Do you think this is it? Do you think they're finally gonna fund getawayforus.com? Can we actually afford to upgrade the site and create a real marketing campaign? I... Maggie, you won't be able to do any of that unless you pick up the phone. Getawayforus.com, this is Violet speaking. Yes, hold one moment, please. Jane and Steve, hello. Listen, we're about to hop on a plane to LA for a meeting, and we were wondering if you were free tomorrow. Maybe we could grab an early bite? You pick the spot, and feel free to invite someone. Let's keep this whole thing sociable. Sociable, right. I will bring my boyfriend, Brent. Sounds good. 
Looking forward to meeting him. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Brent's been upgraded to boyfriend status, huh? What? He could be my boyfriend. We've been together for a while. Everything is... fine. It's fine. The term dry cleaning is misleading. It's not a dry process. It, it's just that the cleaning solvent we use has virtually no water in it, so it doesn't penetrate the fabric's fibers the way water does. Ah. Did you know that? Are you okay, Maggie? You seem distracted. Hmm? I, I just have this work thing. <laughs> Actually, um, there's something I want to tell you. I need Cersei borrows them. She takes them on her trip. She came back from her trip and she didn't have them. I mean, who does Amber. that? Isn't that crazy? It's Amber. We need to talk. Hi. Oh, I just made you a reservation at your favorite bistro for four. Well, now I have to find a fourth person because I broke up with Brent last night. Mm. And now I have to go to this dinner without a wingman. What am I going to do? You want to come with me? Ooh, I'm so flattered, but I have plans. And considering the fact that I already know Jane and Steve and I'm a woman, it might be hard for me to pass as your boyfriend. I know. It's just going to be so awkward. I told them I would bring my boyfriend. I mean, now we can have a very appropriate business-related conversation about my failed relationship. You know, if you're looking for a guy, I know a cute furniture maker who might be free. Stop. Sam. Hmm. Not a bad idea. I can't believe you broke up with Amber, man. I mean, she was perfect. Pretty, fun, easygoing. Uncomplicated, but it never really went anywhere, you know? Exactly. I mean, the girl ate french fries for dinner. Like, what is wrong with you, man? If you like her so much, I'll give you her number. Really? Hey, to each his own. <laughs> Do you have a second? Hi, I'm Eddie. Nice to meet you. Alex's assistant. Could you grab the paint from out back? Yes. Yes, I can. So, what brings you to my humble abode? Miss me? <laughs> I need a favor. I have an investor dinner, and I was wondering if you would come as my date. Uh, what about Brent? I couldn't hear another word about dry cleaning. Uh, I actually ended things with Amber, too. Really? Mm-hmm. She made me feel old and responsible. That just ain't right. Yeah. So... So dinner, right. Um... When is it? It's later this afternoon. I know you probably have other things that you're doing. I don't. Then I'll be there. Thank you. They really liked your furniture, so maybe you could sell them an end table over dessert or something. <laughs> Okay. So there I am, facing this wicked dog life. What? Oh! Ah. Hello! Good to see you nice again. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi. Uh, this must be Brent? Alex. Uh, this, this, is, this is Alex. Funny, I thought you said his name was Brent. I did. Um, you see, but... Brent couldn't make it, so I'm going to fill in. But you know what? Just call me Brent. Well, Brent, Alex, whatever. Have a seat. Doesn't matter Have what your seat. name is. You're cute. cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is he cute, he's a gentleman. He, he holds a chair is. for the lady. Very nice. How was your trip? Uh, it was uneventful. Um, and... Exactly how we like it. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> so, Alex, what do you do? I make custom furniture. He made all the furniture in my office. Oh, great stuff. Guys, I know you like my furniture, but come on, this is too much. Well, Alex, you get the second toast, but the first toast goes to Maggie. We have finally chosen a new tech startup to invest in. And it's get away for us. 
We want to fund your expansion, Maggie. Uh, really? Yes, really. It was an impressive proposal. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I will not disappoint you. Oh, you're going to make us all a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Nice cup. Mm. We're not. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. Nope. We're not. It. Mm -mm. Nope. But but cheers. Cheers to this. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Which is, cheers. Which is exciting. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> Thank you again. Mm. All your dreams are coming true, huh? It seems so. And you didn't even need a wingman. I think they thought that you were more than just a wingman. Yeah, they thought I was your boyfriend. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> funny, right? Oh, is it really that funny? I'm starting to think that maybe it's not. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we go on a real date. Okay, so I'll call you. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. 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 Bye. You have investors. We have investors. It's all your hard work. <laughs> yes, and we still have a lot of work to do, so I thought we should celebrate now before we don't get another chance. We need to organize a focus group, set up a marketing plan. We also need to post some jobs online, but before we do that, we need to crunch the numbers so we know what we can pay people. Yeah, well, I assume we have to return all this furniture to Alex, so we're going to have to use some of the investment capital to replace it. Yeah, I guess we do, but he said we could keep it as long as we needed, so. I'll bet he did. Violet. Oh, really? Are you going to pretend you don't know how this young man feels about you? He actually asked me out for a date. Excellent. When's the first date? We haven't said anything yet. Maggie, you are an accomplished, intelligent, entrepreneurial woman. Why are you waiting for this guy to call? You know what? You're right, Violet. All done, boss. Well, then you should get going. Dad, um, you sure you're okay with this? Absolutely. I am totally cool with it. Seriously, you guys go. Have a great day. Okay. Yeah, we will. I can't get to the phone right now, but please leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Hey, Maggie, it's Alex. I am calling about our date. What do you say this Saturday? Dinner? You pick the place? Okay. Call me back. Bye. All of your messages have been erased. Here's the lunch box. Hey, Mom. Hey, what's this? Oh, they're the pictures from the dance. Miss Lowell took them. Oh, I want to see them. Oh, 
<laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I love that one. Is that? No way. I can't believe it. She took a picture of Danny and I dancing. Oh, right. Danny, uh, he looks like a very good dancer. Well, Alex showed him how to cut in, and Alex and Maggie started dancing. Oh, slow dancing. It was so much fun. Slow danced. Really? Uh, that's, that's great, sweetie. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Sounds like Maggie and Alex had an interesting week. Yeah. Oh. Okay, can you call my assistant Violet and set that up? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. I am so, so sorry. I'm Girl, late. You created and saved my vacation. You can be late to our next 12 lunches. So you had a good trip. It was amazing. But frankly, I'm more interested in what happened here. Everything was fine. What? I know it was. The kids said they had a great time, and they said that you and Alex had a lot of fun, too. Like, together? Yes. No. I mean, maybe. It's, it's Alex is very charming, but, um... Is he calling you right now? We were supposed to go out. What? What happened? Alex is Alex. It's not gonna happen. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to eat and hear about Hawaii. Okay. Uh, fair enough. I won't push. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? I just talked to my client, and they are loving the new cabinets you're working on. That is great. Thank you for that. So, the week was a success, huh? Yeah, the kids. A lot of fun. No, I was, uh, I was talking about you and Maggie. So you guys are friends now, right? Oh, Maggie. Yeah, she's impossible. I thought maybe... I mean, she's a great person, and she's amazing with the kids, and she's a ton of fun when she wants to be, but I don't get her. You know? I thought we were supposed to get together and hang out, but she hasn't returned my calls. Really? Okay. Enough Maggie talk, man. All right. <laughs> Drive, please! Oh, no. Wait. What are you doing here? I was invited to dinner. And I assume you were too, but then again, how would I know that since you haven't called me back? So you're blaming me. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just confused. Why don't you ask Amber to explain it to you? Amber? What does Amber have to do with this? I told you that I broke up with because her. Because I saw her coming to see you at your workshop. I was bringing back your sweatshirt. I promise you, I'm not seeing Amber. Like, I haven't seen... Oh, oh, it, she came to see Eddie. What? Eddie likes her. They went on a date. I, I know, it seems really weird, but they're actually kind of perfect for one another. Did you think that I was cheating on you before we even went on a date? I guess that... I'm sorry. It's okay. I guess I haven't given you many reasons to trust me in the past, so... Maybe we should start over. Can we? I would love that. Alex Forney. Maggie Milton. Do you remember what I told Brianna about how boys act like they don't like the smart, pretty girls because they're intimidated? Well, I'm thinking you've always intimidated me. So I made fun of you. But I think I really want to get this right. 
Well, maybe it wasn't the most mature thing to do, but I think I've always acted so uptight because you make me nervous. Me? Yes, you. It's crazy how a guy who's handsome and funny and life of the party can do that to a girl. I believe I got Magpie Mountain to marry me. Uh, it's Magpie for now. Yes, it is. Guys, hey, it's time to throw the bouquet. Can I throw it? Uh, no, sweetie. The bride has to do it. Yeah, and you'll you'll get your chance in a long, long, long time. <laughs> Once she throws it, you know what's next? Cake! Cake! Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Ready? <laughs> okay. One, two, three! <laughs> Hello. Hey, friends, the camera is very good. 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 Very